Cancer, welcome to Messages from Your Spirit Guides. This is a new series I'm adding to the channel, so please let me know how you like this. This is what does Spirit want to tell you, what do you need to know right now. So these are messages from your Spirit Guides or messages from my Spirit Guides to you on what you need to know right now. So this is a new monthly series. If you do like this, please do comment, give me some feedback, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, all that great stuff uh, would greatly, greatly be appreciated. So welcome. If you're new, thank you for watching. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Um, check the description box below for any and all information you need about me. Tons of stuff there, so please do go check that out. Thank you so much, everybody, for all your support that you give the channel, whether you tip, you donate, you reach out for personal readings, or just subscribing. Welcome all my new subscribers. Just thank you, thank you. And being a part of the channel, the community, helping it grow and flourish and being a part of that is deeply, deeply appreciated. And I love doing this for you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Cancer. Let's see what we have for Cancer. These are spirit messages to you, what you need to know right now in the month of October or whenever. But these will be monthly, so um, you'll get four different readings a month now. So um, if I resonate with you, you do like my energy, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. Um, so don't miss out on that. And I love to read the comments. So what do we have, Spirit, for Cancer? What does Cancer need to know right now from their Spirit Guides? Oh, and how did that get in there? Wow. Huh. I don't even know how that got in there. Wow, that don't even belong in that deck. <laughs> okay. So we got one, two, and one more. What does Cancer need to know right now? And I think it's this one. All right, so this may be a message for some, but I'm not going to take it as part of the reading, but it's called self-sabotage. When you learn to get out of your own way, there will be no stopping you. Most of the time, it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals. It's that inner voice that derails those carefully woven plans. So some of you may be self-sabotaging uh, yourself, having negative thoughts, low self-esteem, thinking you can't do something when you can. Uh, just having uh, a negative mindset. So that may be a uh, message for some. Okay, so I'm just going to put that aside. So your actual messages are going to be here. I'm going to draw uh, three from each oracle deck, then we'll go over the cards, and then uh, I'll pull some tarot, clarify the messages. All right, so what do we have for Cancer Spirit, please? What does Cancer need to know right now? from their spirit guides, what are the messages from them right now, for them right now, what are the spirit messages, messages from the spirit guides for Cancer, for October spirit please, can we have three cards, three, one, two, okay, those two, one more, one more for Cancer, and they stick in my hand, like when I'm shuffling and they don't want to fall out, that's my uh, sign that a message in there for you. Oops. Okay. They either fly. I usually take flyers, or if they stick in my hand, or if they stick out from the deck in an unusual way, if they protrude out, I usually take them that way also. Okay. So three messages here for <clears throat> Cancer. One more shuffle. All right, what are the messages for Cancer? What does Cancer need to know right now from the spirit guides, the spirit team? One. All right, and I guess these two wanted to stick in my hand. All right, let's see what we have for you, Cancer. These are the spirit messages, spirit guide messages for you for October. Let's see. All the decks are listed below if you're interested in that. So we have happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So it's a message for you that happiness, you are on the right path. If you're like those, that self-sabotaging ways we had over there, you are on your path to happiness. So there's no need to uh, sabotage yourself. Exactly. With doubt here. Wow. Spirit. <laughs> you know, I, I think I may put that card out because I think it's really truly meant for you, Cancer. So I think I'm going to put it out over here. Um like that okay so you know self-sabotage is about having doubt and fear I release the need to know all the answers so 
don't doubt your happiness is on your path. You are on the right path to happiness, whatever that is for you. And then we have balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. So having that inner peace and balance without judgment, judging others, judging yourself, the environment around you, just being in a very positive, balanced energy mindset, mindset or you need to uh, balance things around you and in your life. Wow. All right, so let's see. Let's see what these have to say. Give more. Which is 23, which is 5, which is about change. So maybe if you've been kind of solitary, alone, not really doing much, not really hanging out with friends and family, not helping out where you're needed in some way, this is telling you, or even volunteering, that you need to give back more in some way. And it may bring you some happiness here that uh, you're not seeing. So we have here decide the outcome. So there's something that you may need to decide on, um, that you need to review everything. You need to, uh, if it's paperwork, reviewing paperwork or some sort of situation here, it's, you know, look at all the fine de details, read the fine print and really ponder and take your time. But I think in October or sometime you will need to decide on something here. And 74 is 11, which is 2, which can be about making decisions, being indecisive. So, and maybe you're having doubt. It's right under doubt here. You're having doubt about a situation, like you don't know what to decide. You're doubting, like, if I decide this, you know, this may happen, or if I go that way. But whatever you decide here, I think it's going to bring you happiness. You just need to have a very balanced outlook in this. All right, so now we have say thank you. So... And number four, 44, is about your foundation, uh, your structure, your basis. So, you know, this is just simple saying thank you, being uh, grateful, being appreciative to those around you. So don't be afraid to say thank you. All right, so now we have Yemenya, golden opportunity. Important doors are opening for you now right now walk through them so if you're needing to make a decision here about some sort of golden opportunity and you're wondering what kind of opportunity this is spirit is here to say it's a golden opportunity so i don't think uh you should pass that up and then we have damara guiding children you are good at helping counseling and healing children use your skills to help children now so if some of you are deciding whether or not to go down that path of even maybe um, opening up a, uh, well, they don't call it babysitting anymore, but childcare business or going um, into a career or a path or volunteering with children as we have give more here. So if you're thinking about volunteering with children, this could lead to uh, happiness and success for you also. So this is telling you anything to do with children, guiding children some way, shape or form, if you're thinking about that. I think spirit here is trying to tell you it's something that is probably meant for you to do. I think you're having doubt about it and you're trying to decide whether or not to go down that path. But I see it as a golden opportunity. It's something you want to give to can bring balance and happiness here. And I think that those around you will be very thankful to you for um, your service, for your, um, your skills. Wow. All right. So let's see here. We have Arikura blossoming. You are just getting started. So have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up. So blossoming, you're, uh, you're blossoming. You're on your way. Don't give up. Don't have any doubt. Just trust the process. Just have patience with yourself and don't give up. You're just getting started. And I think people, children, whatever here will be so thankful They'll love and appreciate you for everything you give to them with give more. This is something you need to decide, golden opportunity, but you're having doubts. It can bring so much happiness and balance to you and also the self-sabotage there. So that is that doubt, that fear, that negative thinking. So it's kind of all running into one big message for some. Or if it's not um, going into a uh, career path, somewhere with children, it could be your own children. 
you know, maybe you need to spend more time with your children. Also, okay, so, the, but there's some sort of golden opportunity coming your way. And some of you just need to give more to others for some reason, if that makes sense for you. Some may need your time, uh, need your help. Some may just may need to make a decision about something here that you're unsure about. Be appreciative of those around you. Don't ever forget to say thank you. And don't doubt your balance and happiness because it is coming your way. All right, so let's get one for happiness for cancer spirit. Can we clarify happiness for cancer for October? Thank you so much. The Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So this is growth, abundance, um, being secure, and uh, having everything you need in your life. So you are on your way to a very abundant happiness with the Ten of Pentacles there. You'll have everything you'll ever need and want, and you'll never have to worry. Growth, abundance, success, happy home and family. All right. So, and green, and green is about the hot chakra but it also is monetary material and so like the pentacles so that's just uh don't doubt this spirit wants you to know so what about give more so we have the queen of wands energy here fire energy so this is a very fiery um bold energy they go after what they want a lot of drive ambition passion um and they're not afraid to go after what they want. So you may need just to give more to something that you're putting on the back burner that you're very passionate about. This is being determined and going after what you want. So if you need to give more time to that, devoted to that, to go after what you want, to get your Ten of Pentacles in your happiness, in your balance, then you need to do it. As you see, the give more is very orangey color there. So a lot of a lot of uh, fiery orangey color, which is Queen of Wands energy is fire. So what is this golden opportunity? What is this golden opportunity for Cancer? The Five of Pentacles. So, you know, this is a fear of being abandoned, left, on, left out in the cold, monetary lack, um, neglection. So I do see that this is a golden opportunity, but again, you're having that self-sabotage and that doubt and that fear that what if it doesn't work out and then I have monetary lack, abandoned, left out in the cold sort of energy. I think, because it is a golden opportunity, I think you're just fearing the worst here and that it may not um, work out that way. All right, so doubt what is doubt about wow the ace of pentacles in reverse exactly this is a brand new start this is um divinely guided when it's upright and it's about financial abundance growth expansion the you know a brand new uh business adventure or something of that nature where it's career abundance growth but it's in reverse so it's like you're doubting this brand new start of abundance for you you're doubting it. You're doubting whether or not to go down that in that direction. And you're talking yourself out of it with the self-sabotage here for some of you. You need to decide, do I really want to go down this path? Maybe you're studying. Maybe you're, you know, with the book here, you could be studying, trying to figure it out. Do I want to do this? Do I want to go down this path, this avenue? All right. So let's see. Decide the outcome. Exactly. So... We got the two of wands energy. This is about being at a crossroads and needing to decide what path you want to go down. And I had just said that. And it can be about making plans and decisions for the future. So you need to make plans, decisions for the future and decide which path that you want to go down. You need to decide your outcome here. All right. So guiding children. What is that about? You are good at helping, counseling, healing children. What is that about for cancer? What is this guiding children about for children? Oh, for children, for cancer, please. 
Can we clarify for Cancer, please? So we have the Four of Cups energy. So this is, you know, uh, contemplating. Not really, it's kind of bored, you know, kind of a bored energy. Um, not really extending anything out or having anything coming in. Just feeling stagnant, bored uh, kind of energy. Oh, for guiding children. So I feel like wherever you are now in your life, whatever you're doing, you're just very bored with it. There's like no growth. There's no expansion. You don't love it. You don't hate it. You're just blah. And we have the chariot. So this is taking this is your energy, cancer, taking positive movement forward to growth, abundance, success, victory, being very balanced and going after what you want with a lot of drive and ambition. So I feel like you do want to get out of this blah, boring space that you're in and move forward in a new direction very victoriously. And it could be with um, helping children here, but it's like you're procrastinating, you're stuck, um, not really sure what to do. All right, so let's get balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. So can we get balance? Clarifier for balance. What is the balance about for, wow, that's too many. So we have the Queen of Swords energy here. So this is truth, clarity, uh, open, honest, truthful communication, standing up for yourself, not taking any BS, cutting away things no longer serving you. Sometimes can be kind of a cold energy. Um, so if you're feeling kind of cold and like sharp with your tongue and that sort of energy, there's a real need here to balance yourself out. All right. So, and you know, whenever I get swords like the Queen of Swords or the Ace of Swords, it always reminds me of divine energy stepping in, trying to show you the way, the light, the path saying you know seeing things with truth and clarity trying to uh, guide you that I think you know divine is trying to guide you to your balance all right so what does this say thank you what does this say thank you about the king of swords wow so we have the king and queen of swords here so the king of swords again is that very um Clear energy, clear, concise energy, clear thinking, uh, truth, clarity, you know, again, cutting away things no longer serving, um, standing up for yourself, not taking any BS. Again, sometimes can be kind of cold. Some sometimes. So if they thank you here, maybe you know you have ego pride, you don't say thank you, the king of stars kind of energy. Um, as you need to kind of get out of that energy and say thank you when it's needed. It doesn't hurt to say thank you. All right, so what is this blossoming? What is blossoming for? Again, uh, Cancer, if you like my style, my energy, you like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. Hit the bell, you'll be notified when I post new readings. You get four readings a month. They're all different. So please don't miss out on that. And if you do, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so what is this uh, blossoming? Eight of Pentacles. So, yep, and it says here, you are just getting started, so have patience with yourself in the process and do not give up. And the Eight of Pentacles here is an energy of working diligently, mastering your craft, working hard, putting in the dedicated effort, and working and moving forward. So don't give up. Keep working at it. The Eight of Pentacles energy is working at it. Don't give up. Let's see what's on the top here. The Fool. So exactly. Take the leap of faith. Jump in. Trust everything will be fine. And take a leap of faith here if you feel like uh, that's what you need to do. Let's see what's on the bottom. The nine of wands, maybe it's a tired, you know, a tough, hard fight. You know, you feel wounded, battered, beat up, but you know, you have the strength, the stamina, the drive, the ambition, the passion to keep fighting and keep going and not giving up. Don't give up. This is the wounded warrior. He's beat up, he's wounded, but he does not give up. He keeps fighting on. Because you will be successful and victorious here. This is the Six of Wands energy. But you need to make that judgment call and you need to make the final a final decision about something. But 
stability here will be yours with the King of Pentacles. Um, stability, abundance, growth, expansion, fulfillment, abundance and fulfillment. And manifesting that brand new beginning. You can manifest this brand new beginning with a lot of passion, drive, and ambition. Yep, the devil. You just need to get over your negative mindset and doubt and fear and self-sabotage in ways. And do what's best for you with the lover's energy. You're following your divine guiding path what you're passionate about, what you truly want to do and love, would love to do with your life. Yeah, I could keep going. I'm going to stop there. All right, Cancer, I hope you enjoy these. These are the messages that Spirit wants you to know for October. It kind of was one big message, or it could be little messages. Take what resonates, throw away what doesn't. And uh, sending you much light, love, and blessings. Good luck to you. And as I always say, as always, always shine your light.